this is the story of how the camel got his hump. Okay? Once upon a time, back when the world was very new and all, and the creatures were just starting to work for man, there was the first horse and the first cow and the first dog. Okay, and they were working for, for mankind. And on Monday, Adam went to the first horse and the first cow and the first dog, and he told them to work, and he was giving them work to do. And then he came to the first camel, and he said to the camel that the camel had to work, and the camel was just looking at a pool of water and admiring his reflection in the water. Okay saying, oh, how good-looking I am, looking at himself in the water. And he, when Adam told him to work, he just said, humph, only humph, and no more. So anyway, uh, Adam gave extra work to the cow and the dog and the horse. And this, and, and they, this made them very angry because they had to do extra work. Adam said, that hump thing out in the desert, he uh, should have been working, but he won't work. So now there are other three of you have to work extra to make up for it. So they were very unhappy. So then, finally, uh, this, uh, this genie came along rolling up. That's not the girl's name, genie. That's a genie that comes out of that lamp, you know. And, uh, and, uh, so, and this genie came rolling along in a dust cloud. That's the way the genies travel because it's magic. Okay, so the the genie came in rolling in a dust cloud, and he he uh, came and uh, and uh, the and the dog and the cow and the horse said they complained to him about the the camel. They said, "What's that?" The the the, the horse said he has a bit in his mouth. He said, "Push that." Hump thing out there in the desert, and the cow, and, and he said he won't, uh, he won't plow, pull the plow with us, and uh, and the cow said and he won't pull the cart with us, and the dog said, the dogs talk like they're barking, and he won't fetch and carry with us, so the genie went went, and he said that's that camel of mine. And he says, does he see anything? And the horse said, he only says hump. The, the genie said, does he see anything else? And the cow said, only hump and no more. And so the, cat, the genie said, well, I'll go and take care of him. So the genie rolled himself up in his dust ball. Try to roll yourself up in the dust ball. Okay, there. Okay, roll yourself up in the dust ball. Roll yourself up in the dust ball. Okay, there. Mm -hmm. then, <laughs> and then he came down, and he came to where the horse and the dog and the cow were. And, he, and I saw he came to where the camel was. And he said to the camel, what's this I hear about you not working? Mm -hmm. and, the, uh, and the camel just said, Humph. Right, humph. <laughs> and, uh, and he says, and the genie says, I want you to start working and behave yourself. And the camel only said, Humph. Okay. And um, the genie went on thinking magical thoughts, and he said, I wouldn't keep saying that if I were you, he said to the camel, because you might say it one time to many. And then the camel said, and as soon as he did, the, on his back, it started growing up into this great big thing. And he said, what's happening to me? And, uh, and, uh, and the genie says, that's your very own hump that you brought on your very own self by not working. And now you have to go and work. And he said, but how can I work with this big thing on my back? And he said, that's made for a reason you can work and live off of your hump. And... Uh, and he says, and now don't say I never did anything for you. So then, nowadays, the camel to this day still has a hump. Only we call it a hump now, not so as not to hurt his feelings. Okay. And, uh, and he still has never caught up with the amount of work he was supposed to do at the beginning of the world. Okay.